Hi, friend. This is Melody from For Shanghai Park, and this is my colleague. My name is Jennifer. Today we will introduce the wheel. We will explain how the how to install it, how to operate it, and how to clean it. As we know, the wheel is used to is to weight different kinds of granule with high precision. And、uh, Jennifer, could you introduce? The components of the wheel to us. Yeah, sure. I will explain the whole set of wheel to you. And、um, let's go to the next、uh, wheel. You can see this wheel has been finished to install. This one is the zip tie container. It will bring the materials from here, from the grounds to the top of the wheel. And、um, This one is the clamp hopper. It will clamp the output material. And this one is the sensor. It identifies the material. And this one is the main vibration plate. The materials will go into the go into this storage hopper. This one is the nine vibration plate. This is the storage hopper, and then we will install this vena hopper. The last one, we will install the board under the vena. Okay, you can see this vena do not finish to install. I will let my colleagues to install the each part on the vena. Melody, can you help me? This part is the hopper. And we will put it into the machine. This four corner must be fastened. Next, we will install this part. Okay. Please pay attention. This screw must be stuck into this place. And this part is the sand. This part is the main vibration. We will install it. And then tighten the screw. Okay, it is finished. This part is the light vibration. Every part has its number, so we need to install it in in order. Please pay attention to this part. Now it is it is opened. We need to put into put this part into it and then close it. It's okay. Here is the way hopper. We need to pay attention to the middle bar. We need to、uh, put the middle bar 
into these two sides. Okay, it is finished. And here is the storage hopper. And please pay attention to the upper bar. It needs to be mounted on both sides. Okay, it is finished. This part is, is the support rod. We just need to put it put it into the hole and then hide it. It is finished. Okay. We are going to install the support rods and then install the clad hoppers on the top of the wader. Thank you so much, Meredy. You helped me to install this winner. And um, can we switch on this winner and let it to weigh our product? Do I need to do something? Of course. Let me show it for you. Okay. First, we need to switch on the power. It takes some time to start the machine. <laughs> we need to uh, insert the code to enter the system. Every time we use the machine, we need to set the weight to zero. After setting, we need to check whether it is get zero or not. We can click the menu test. First, we need to select all the vibration. And then click on the low cell. To check whether every vibration is get is zero or not. And then we 
set it to zero or not. Uh, and then we set it to zero again. Now we will test whether every part can work or not. We will click the timing hopper, the weight hopper, the feeding hopper, the linear vibration, and the main vibration. And this is the procession of check. If we want to change our target weight, we can click on the program set out. Here we can change our target weight. Now I want to change the target weight to 200 grand. This is the procession of changing the target weight. Let's start the machine. When we start the machine, this place will be yellow. And when we start it, this place will be blue. But I have a question. Mm. If if the target weight arrow, what should we do? You can collect the target weight on the touch screen. We have the calibration to change this arrow. First, we create the zero. Now the hopper do not have the material. We go into the connection. We can We can choose the three hopper or four number four hopper to check this weight. First, click the number three hopper. And then click the no stop. And click the zero ground. You can see here we will display the smaller OK. We use this one one kilogram composter. And put this on the winner hopper, number three. 好,之后呢,我们就再按这个满肚子,一千克,就行一千个满肚子 And then click the 1000 gram fruit 这个会显示,会显示,999.9克到1000个都是合格标准 If there display the 1000 grams or 990 grams, is that mean the winner is OK? 我选一个大的OK,这样就标准合格了 You can see it, the bigger OK 好,那我们可以进行下一个朵的标准 OK, we can click the next hopper to check the radar 我们把这个砝码拿下来 And put all these um, counterparts 好,我们再 再来一遍,四号的开始,标定,先按这个零点值 And click the zero ground 
，安了一个电池之后，它会显示一个小小小的 OK， 同时这也是已经到定位了。You can observe here the number four topper is the smaller OK and is a zero. 好，那我们可以把这个砝码挂到四号头上面去，对不对？ And we put the one kilogram cutter post on the number four green hopper. 好，关了之后呢，我们可以按一下这个满肚子。We click the fruit. 这边显示一千个或者九百九十九点九个 OK 的，同时也显示个大的 OK， 证明标定完成。You can see here display the one thousand grams of ninety nine hundred ninety nine. That means the winner has been collected. It's finished to calibration. Okay, 那么呢，其他豆也可以，再用这种方法，顺序这样标定就可以完成。Each hopper also collects the weights by this by this way, step by step. Okay. It's finished to collect the winner. So Jennifer. After the installation and operation, how can we clean the wear? We always suggest our customer to use the air gun to remove the liar vibration plate and the storage hopper. You can unload it and remove inside and the weight hopper to let them clean. Is okay. Today we take a video to teach you how to install the display. If you have any other questions on the winner and any machine problems, you can contact us. Our self after self team will online 24 hours to help you. Yes, please contact us by clicking the search website below. Thank you. Bye.